following breaking news overnight. A government shutdown was 100% avoidable. Republicans blaming the Democrats this morning as the government officially shut down at 12.01. On the anniversary of Trump's inauguration, the vice president is overseas kicking off a four-day trip to the Middle East and Egypt. This as a spending showdown continues on Capitol Hill. The Senate failed to get the 60 votes needed to pass a stopgap spending bill. So the question now is how long is this shutdown going to last and what happens in the meantime? CBS's Mo Lange is on Capitol Hill. A Senate vote to fund the government through February 16th failed. The motion is not agreed to. Private discussions continued on the floor even after the midnight deadline came and went, but to no avail. A government shutdown was 100% avoidable. All because Senate Democrats chose to filibuster a non-controversial funding bill that contains nothing. Not a thing they do not support. Democrats were holding out for a comprehensive spending bill and a deal to protect dreamers brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Minority leader Chuck Schumer said his earlier meeting with President Trump looked promising, but the president later backpedaled. He walked away from two bipartisan deals, including one today in which I even put the border wall on the table. The White House has branded this the Schumer shutdown. And in an official statement, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders called the Democrats obstructionist losers. The majority leader is proposing a resolution to fund the government through February 8th, a week past the president's State of the Union address. It's unclear when the Senate might vote on that, and any deal would also have to pass the House. A partial shutdown won't affect much in the early hours of the weekend, but it could ultimately furlough about 800,000 federal workers and leave military personnel unpaid. Even the CDC wouldn't have the personnel to support its annual flu program. Mola Lange, CBS News, Capitol Hill.